Alistair Jaruga, Sales and Marketing Director for Sam Communications. In this video, we're going to cover the truth and the facts about the ISDN BT switch off. ISDN is a digital line that hooks up to a PBX or TDM uh, telephony solution. Uh, it replaced PSDN in 1978 and the switch off that's recently been announced is the biggest thing uh, since the launch of ISDN, now the phase out has been launched. There's been several different stories and scam and rude tactics on the internet, so I just want to clear it up for everybody and give everyone the truth and the facts behind the switch off. Uh, 2023, you can no longer order a new ISDN line, that being a channel going to an ISDN 30, a new ISDN 2 bearer. No more ordering from 2023 to 2025 is a maintain only uh, factor for BT. Uh, 2025 in reality uh, is the year when you can no longer get a dial tone on an ISDN or a PSDN line, so therefore it will be unusable at that point. Uh, ISDN uh, enables functionality or you know, still enables functionality on its PBX that gave more functionality than analog lines, PSDN lines. Uh, it will enable us to have DDIs, uh, alpha tagging where it shows and displays a telephone number on the handset. The big sell point is around ISDN and having DDI functionality. Uh, if you want 10 separate numbers for 10 separate people within your organisation then ISDN was the only real product commercial that would have worked. Uh, however, cloud technology is much cheaper and provides that same functionality. Yeah, so one of the things I want to clear up as well is that analog lines will still exist because a broadband service will still need to sit uh, on an analog line, but ultimately you will not get dial tone on that analog line from 2025. So in 2020, most resellers will be set up to order a broadband service only, which will carry a line rental in there, but you will no longer, when you speak to a reseller, order an analog line for 13 or 14 pounds, then a broadband service at whatever level that sits over the top of that. You will just order a level of broadband service that will be inclusive of everything. Uh, so culturally, it's just a different way of ordering the service. But, you know, as stated before, no dial tone on that analog line from 2025. Um, the huge risk to BT is, number one, the millions of seats that need to move to IP technology. Uh, it's going to be a huge bottleneck at some point, we think, in the marketplace, because a lot of customers are burying their head in the sand and waiting until 2023. Uh, and also losing out against their competition and not taking the benefits of cloud technology. The footprint of connectivity or broadband, uh, there's a lot of rural areas that struggle for good broadband services and with the switch off from PSDN or ISDN if you're in a rural area ultimately you're going to have to put your voice on some form of connectivity or broadband service and BT have got a lot of work to do to improve the infrastructure across the UK and particularly in the rural areas. Uh, the other thing is, I think they're going to see uh, huge price increases as BT sweat their assets assets over the next three to four years. Uh, so what they think is cost effective at the moment, they will no doubt see increased costs with. And also the PBX uh, that they're connecting their current legacy technology to could also become end of life and see maintenance price increases with that also. I think, yeah, I think one of the big things for me is, you know, this is the biggest change in the industry since the launch of ISDN. And what we're not hearing in the marketplace is that there's going to be more engineers, more trained engineers to move every, you know, small to medium business and even residential customers to new, new technology. Uh, so I imagine, uh, being in the game quite a long time now, uh, that there'll be huge bottlenecks. Uh, you know, and therefore it could be a poor user experience if you wait, because uh, other millions of customers will be waiting as well. So why not take the leap now and see the value adds of cloud technology? I think uh, any small reseller where customers, you know, are desperate to make the move now, uh, then absolutely yes, you're always uh, left more open to uh, more expensive charging. Voice over IP is very, very simple. Basically, we throw the voice over the internet service uh, rather than the fixed PSDN line or ISDN line. There's different formats of voice over IP. Uh, there's terminology such as SIP. And again, you know, in simplistic terms, you're still throwing your voice over the internet.
It's a very simple process for Sam. We've been doing it for a long time. We come and consult with the customer, uh, see what their requirements and business challenges are, because there's different variants of cloud technology. It's not just one. Uh, we also need to establish what type of connectivity, which is key to any kind of VoIP service the customer requires, what future requirements they're gonna have for data usage. Uh, that's all done within an hour's consultation, generally for an SMB customer. From there, we'll come back with some pricing options and different solutions, and from there, we can move forward with an order. Uh, generally, the transition from taking them to ISDN to cloud technology will take anything from four weeks from written order to delivery. If the customer chooses managed connectivity, uh, that being an Ethernet or lease lines terminology you may be familiar with, uh, that could be anything up to 90 days lead time. No, uh, there's different qualities of G72 quality calls, which mirror ISDN quality calls. So the end user, that being a customer or a partner or employee, won't notice any difference on the quality of the voice call. No, not at all. Uh, the whole myth of uh, voice to voice or voice over IP to voice over IP being the only free calls, that's not the case. If you're utilising our product at SAM, for example, you will get unlimited you know, UK, local and national and mobile calls, which means uh, there will be no charge aside from the fixed rental uh, for any call charges, which is good for financing because you can kind of estimate a budgetary cost uh, you know, for months and years ahead in terms of your expenditure for your comms. Uh, it's an interesting question because I think there's a lot of resellers out there uh, advising customers to move to cloud technology to you know make the savings and that is the case in certain occasions uh, but again dependent on what connectivity the customer requires to put their voice down. If for example a customer needs to move from ISDN 4 channels to a lease line or ethernet because of their data usage and they share that pipe for the voice and data there could be an increase in cost but behind that, an increase in customer experience, bottom line performance, and also efficiencies with staff, etc. Potential cost savings dependent on requirements. Uh, in terms of portal based uh, technology, you're no longer required to call out engineers anymore. You can manage your own system yourself, make moves and changes yourself, change how your businesses and customers approach it yourself all online which is supported by professional training, so you, you fully understand how to do that. Greater productivity and efficiency from the broadband or connectivity that you choose to use. Uh, you can take numbers from anywhere and make your business feel a lot bigger than potentially is to, your, to the customer, to attract new customers for out of area, for example, by providing them with a local number that steers straight into your telephone uh, user group. Uh, the other options are a lot of features and functionality that used to cost a lot of money on PBX such as call recording, call management software uh, are all included as part of the license cost therefore making it very achievable commercially for SMB business to invest in this kind of technology where it used to be corporates and big market customers being able to analyse their business trends and manage staff activity and efficiencies better. You can now do that in a 10, 15 user business and make the correct decisions. And your customers will get a better experience and a slicker experience when calling your business.